There was a club in Los Angeles called Scream, and Scream was a club that changed locations every weekend. So James became the house band at Scream, and we didn't really have to sell tickets anymore because Scream was a scene. It was a big scene. And the Scream let us use their, I think it was the Ambassador Hotel where uh, Robert Kennedy was shot. They were using the Ambassador Ballroom as the Scream on a Friday night, but they had it all week. So they let Janes rehearse at the Scream for a whole week. And we started rehearsals at midnight. And we did midnight till 6 a.m. rehearsals. And that's for a week straight. We wrote three days on the midnight shift. And basically, it was about four or five different songs not glued together by accident. We knew we were going to do it, but we perfected three or four songs and then started gluing them. But it was really about Perry's story, uh, a menage a trois weekend. It's not a bad story. And they said we had to write the music to match that, you know? And that's really what it was. It was taking the lyrics, the story, and trying to relive that story with music. Um, everyone got a chance to shine on that. And Navarro takes like a 45 measure solo. My drum solo goes from a minute to, you know, three or four minutes, depending on my mood. And, uh, Perry's lyrics, I'm still connected to him. I said that to him last night before we hit the stage. He said, are you ready? I'm like, I'm ready to hear your words, because once I hear those, three, four, I'm ready. You know what I mean? But yeah, three days, we've played it about 90% of all our shows. And it's one of our favorite tunes. I think uh, the highlight for Jane's Addiction for me would be another song from Ritual called uh, Then She Did. Yeah. I think that's really the top song. Or even Ted, from, uh, you know, nothing shocking, Ted just admitted it. Um, there's a great story that Dave Grohl told me that him and Kurt Cobain came to see us at the 930 Club in 1987 or 88, and we opened up with Ted. And it was about five minutes of the reggae dub, and they were looking at each other going, what's the big deal? And then, bam. And they're like, oh, this can happen. You know? <laughs> and this is going to happen. And Dave had a John Bonham tattoo, and he still always reminds me. He's like, do you remember that day I came up to you? I said, Mr. Perkins, do you like John Bonham? <laughs> <laughs> I love Dave Grohl. He's one of the best rock drummers of all time. Unbelievable. All right, anything else? Yeah. yeah. Um, what's your take on Songbook? Uh, is it more African? Well, you know, if you think about traditional...